we have identified a series of high-cost projects that could potentially be included in our new Climate Emergency Action Plan. These projects are estimated to cost more than £50,000 per project and this video will explain these options in more detail. The first option is to produce a local area energy plan for the district to reduce carbon emissions from our homes and businesses. To reach net zero, we need to cut the amount of fossil fuels that we use and use more electricity instead. This means fewer petrol and diesel vehicles and more electric ones. We also need to use electricity more to heat our homes and workplaces. This will put extra demand on the electrical grid and some buildings may need to use hydrogen supplied by the gas grid. A local area energy plan would look at how these changes can be factored into new development in the district as well as identifying priority areas for improving energy efficiency of existing buildings. It would also help energy network operators know which locations to prioritise when improving their networks. And it would factor in people's attitude to these changes too. These changes are going to require a lot of investment from national government and private investors. But if we have a smart and efficient plan, the amount of investment needed may be reduced and this might make it more achievable. It's worth noting though that creating a plan can take about a year, even with the help of outside experts. The second option is to produce a strategy to help reduce the environmental impact from our homes, making them warmer, healthier and cheaper to run. Our homes are the second biggest source of emissions in the district, accounting for 30%, and this is mostly a result of the energy we use for heating. By helping people to make their homes more energy efficient, a process known as retrofit, we can significantly reduce carbon emissions. Not all homes are the same and getting the right advice is important to help homeowners overcome barriers and know where to start. This proposal includes paying for specialists who would work with our partners to help homeowners understand energy efficient technology and how to find trustworthy installers. The next project is to explore options for a land-based carbon offset scheme in the district. Of all the greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide is the biggest cause of climate change, but it can be removed from the atmosphere. When plants grow, they take in carbon dioxide, release oxygen and store the carbon as leaves, stems, trunks and roots. This traps the carbon until the plant dies. The soil is also an important store of carbon. This proposal would allow us to build on this work by working with other organisations to explore the introduction of a carbon offset project. This type of project involves quantifying the amount of carbon dioxide stored by the natural habitat. For every tonne of carbon dioxide stored, an offset can be created. By planting trees or adapting soil management plans, landowners can remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and these carbon offsets can then be sold to organisations or individuals who want to reduce their carbon footprint. It also provides an income for participating landowners and managers. The next project would explore options for a marine-based carbon offset scheme in the district. The second type of carbon offset scheme that we are considering is marine-based. Marine habitats such as salt marshes, seaweed and seagrass are important stores of carbon dioxide and research has shown that these habitats can be more effective at storing carbon than trees. However, marine-based offset schemes are not as well understood as their land-based equivalents, so more investigation would be required. Government funding may also be needed to support this type of scheme, but once up and running, the scheme would be designed to cover its own costs. The fifth option is to increase provision of pay-as-you-go community car hire. This proposal would involve purchasing a further 10 electric vehicles, which would be based in the council's car parks. Members of a car hire scheme can hire these vehicles 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Unlike traditional car rentals, there's no need to pick up the keys. Everything is managed digitally. Now that we've gone through all the options in this section, please drag and drop the options into order of priority so that they are numbered from 1 to 5, with 1 being the highest priority and 5 being the lowest. And please remember to press the button to confirm your rankings.